As the fallout over the demolition of St. Peter's Church in Indeba continues, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mgalu, inspected the site of the demolished St. Peter's Church today and condemned the demolition. This is a real barbaric action, which is an indicator of how people have lost respect for God's, God's house and the church. This is actually a shame that uh, a clergy's house, they bring prostitutes in the house and these are police officers. However, the Christians in question have vowed not to leave this area. We are starting to clean up our place because we agreed with Reverend Nakarim and the others that the police will be here to guard us. Wakonye says they are protected by the land agreement on sitting tenants. Because we have been here over 40 years, 40 years we have been here. So we are bona fide occupants of this place. We just can't leave it. However, legal representatives from the late Evelyn Natural Estate have warned that this would be illegal. The, the court ordered that uh, that land belong to the estate of Natural. The registration of the defendants, uh, that is now the administrators of the estate of the members of the clergy, be cancelled. Nangwala says the land transfer claimed to have been made by Nachwa was found to be forged. Nangwala says the late Nachwa bequeathed the land in question to Buganda Kingdom and not the church. This was also on condition that the kingdom provides alternative land for her heirs. Police discovered that all the documents which were available mm. were forged. Officials from the church who declined to comment on record denied Nangwala's claims, stating that they have proof of the transfer. They also revealed that they've already filed an appeal in court. It's now up to the courts of law to resolve this issue. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.